Hey everybody, it's me with my computer and gaming setup right here. I've got like this, um, uh, I've got this Razer Black Widow keyboard, a Logitech wireless mouse, and an old 15-inch LCD gateway monitor hooked up here right now to this, um, HP 9000 B2600 workstation, which I'm actually learning Linux on because, you know, I actually have a course where, um, for my college, I'm taking system administration and considering how they still use the server versions of these and, uh, regular use, I could probably learn a bunch of stuff about Unix from this machine. And as you can see, we've also got an Xbox One up here, an Xbox 360 here. There's an old SGI 320 uh, visual workstation. Uh, there's a Packard Bell Pentium 233 MMX. I've actually got um, I've got a Matrox video card and an Ensonic sound card in there, along with a Deck LAN card in this computer. There's that crappy Pentium one I put back up there. I've also got an old Pentium 3 server I haven't even touched in a while. I've got um. Uh, a Sun Blade 150. Here's an Apple II GS. There's a C64 I was given. Um, I think it was given to me by somebody, but the problem is I have not touched in a while because it needs a new power supply. I think they said I could have it though, but yeah. Here it here is um it's just playing the screensavers. I'm actually gonna log into it though right now, even though it does have some nice screensavers that are cool to look at. Got to log in. As you can see here, here's CDE. A pretty good desktop environment. I'm actually going to like, look how fast this is. Um, I'm going to like open up a sysadmin app, the SAM app. Uh, for some reason it doesn't like to launch if I do it from there, but... The Hewlett Packard uh, System Administration Manager, they have this, so you can manage your stuff easily on your HP 9000 server workstation. I'm just going to go to Performance uh, Monitors, uh, System Properties, as you can see here, it's a PA8600. Uh, the HP UX11 IV1. I'm going to click OK. To quit out of Sam, and I can also go to uh, the internet browser on here, but I'm actually going to log out real quick just to show you something. Check this out. Console login. No, oh, whatever. I didn't log in quick enough. Hold on, I gotta do this again. But as you can see here, I'm gonna like command line login. Oh look, I already had the password entered in, so it logged me right in. So as you can see, this is uh, the Unix command line. And as you can see, it lets me do everything I can do on a Unix command line here right now, because this is Unix. Uh, I'm going to type in a uh, VI. Look, I can even get VI here and I'm going to quit out of VI here and yep, I can do all this stuff on on here, this HP. So yep, there it is and I'm going to like log out. As it kicks me back to uh as it kicks me back to um the desktop login screen here on this each. Sadly, this does not have a sound card. It only has a video card because, I don't know, some 9000s did have built-in sound cards. Like, I know there was a 9715 at my college, and it had a sound card in it. So, yep. 
Here's a ghetto 486 I'm probably going to throw out soon enough because it barely works. I'll just rip the sound card out of it and... There are some random PCI cards and ISA cards up here along with the box for a hard drive. An extra hard drive, a bunch of CD drive. I can't even turn on the, the light, dang it. But yeah, I've got a bunch of DVD drives, old DVD drives. I've got an old Windows CE tablet. Some laptops, like a Dell laptop with an Apple sticker on it. An SGIO2, a Dell Pentium 4 I was given recently that still works, surprisingly. Huh. Oh crap, I tried to shut it and guess what? I forgot that was there. <laughs> and right here, I've got my uh, HP ProLiant server. Remember that thing? Yep, let me just ah. check this out. I've got this HP ProLiant server with the Xeon in it. And I've also got my main computer here with two monitors and an SGI keyboard, which is real nice. So, yep, I've also got over here the last thing notable worthy of showing is my color laser jet. I'm not plugged in right now because I had to unplug it to plug something else in, but it prints out nice color pictures, which makes it a real nice printer. So, yeah, there you have it, my basement. Well, my computer setup, that is. Heh. <laughs>